Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over acceleration and this is mostly a recap from the National 5 course but it also comes up again in the higher course. So let's get started. The first thing to look at is the definition of acceleration and it says here that acceleration is the change in velocity per unit time or you can also say it as the change in velocity each second. It's a vector quantity, so remember that means that direction is important when we're talking about an object accelerating. So when we're stating an acceleration, it will have both a magnitude and a direction. So from this definition, we can come up with a sort of equation here, and it says that acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over time, divided by time. So remember this delta symbol, the little triangle, means change in, so that's your change in velocity divided by time. And this change in velocity delta v can be expressed in the form of final velocity minus initial velocity but we have symbols for those remember and the symbols are v minus u so the symbol for initial velocity is u and the symbol for final velocity is v and a useful way to remember which one's which is that u comes before v in the alphabet so u is initial velocity and v is the final velocity or the first velocity and the second velocity so putting that together, we end up with our equation for acceleration, and it says that a equals v minus u over t. So the acceleration of an object is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity of the object divided by the time taken. And here we have all of our symbols with the units. So a is acceleration measured in meters per second squared, ms to the minus 2. U is initial velocity measured in meters per second. And v is final velocity measured in meters per second. T is the time measured in seconds, and lastly V minus U is the change in velocity. It should be noted that meters per second squared is the same as saying meters per second per second, and a common question at National 5 level was what is meant by the statement of an acceleration of, say, 5 meters per second squared. And what this means is that an object's speed increases by 5 meters per second every second. So we've had to use our value of 5 in this question because it was 5 meters per second squared, and we've had to relate it to our definition of acceleration. So we've put that number into our definition, and it says that the object's speed or velocity increases by 5 meters per second every second. You should remember from National 5 that if the final velocity of an object is smaller than the initial velocity, then the value for acceleration will be negative because if we look at this equation, we're saying that this u value will be bigger than the v value, so we'll be taking away a bigger number on the top which will leave us with a negative answer overall. And this means that the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the object's motion. So what this negative value of acceleration means is a deceleration. It says here that some problems may require you to rearrange the formula of a equals v minus u over t to find the final velocity v or the initial velocity u. Make sure you're comfortable doing this either by rearranging the letters first or by plugging in your numbers first and then rearranging the numbers. So if you were rearranging for final velocity you would start with a equals v minus u over t and after a bit of manipulation you would end up with this equation here v equals u plus at. Now remember this is one of our equations of motion so you don't really need to know how to rearrange to get this form because you'll be given it on the equation sheet in the exam but it might be quite interesting for you to see that this equation is actually just a rearranged form of the acceleration equation. And if we were rearranging for final velocity, it would look like this, so u equals v minus at. Lastly, it should be noted that sometimes you might be given speed values rather than velocity values in the question, but just know that you should treat these kind of questions in exactly the same way, and you can state final directions along with your final acceleration values. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.